Hey, good morning. It's Dr. James. I hope you're off to a beautiful start today. It's wonderful to lay eyes on you. Thank you for your time and thank you for your energy. And this message is only for people who've been through a very dark time in their life and people who may be presently going through a dark time. I believe all spiritual people have gone through darkness. We go through darkness because we tend to feel pretty much everything. That's part of being spiritual. That's part of being a spiritual warrior. And um, many of you know my story, and a lot of you know my story about my really dark times when I was a lot younger person. Back in my teens, I loved booze, I loved drugs, and I did not love myself, period. I did everything I could pretty much every single day to anesthetize myself so I didn't have to feel how much pain I was in and how much I didn't love myself. And man, oh man, was I good at drinking and I was awesome at taking drugs. And I could put on a face that would literally tell the world I'm okay. Don't worry about me, I got it going on. I know how to handle this, I can handle that. Don't worry that, um... So this is, uh... <laughs> this is for you. And I want to share with you what happened to me back in my early, early 20s, which was probably the single greatest intervention that I gave myself. And this intervention saved my life. It saved my life. There is no question. I look back 37 years ago and I think about the times when I was in the darkest space of my life and I was digging deep to find some kernel of truth that it was worthy of me to start loving on. And I came in a moment when I realized that the first time you ever truly would take a look at your soul and stay with yourself long enough so to begin to soften yourself. Drugs and booze and bad relationships and negative environments and negative community and all that darkness that I literally insulated myself from myself became my, my protection. It became my armor. I put layer upon layer upon layer of self-defeating self habits that literally protected me so I could not let anyone see me. But was really interesting, I couldn't see myself. I couldn't feel myself. I had put so much stuff between me and my heart, me and my soul, me and my truth, that I couldn't feel anything. And it wasn't until one morning I woke up and I was hungover and I was, <sighs> oh, oh my gosh, I didn't even know if I wanted to live another day. That's how bad my life had become. And in that moment, I believe God came in and God said, you know what, I'm taking you by the hand and we're going to navigate through all these different layers. And we're going to slowly but surely break away and break down and break through until you sit with yourself long enough to see yourself. And I'm going to make sure, God said, that you sit and see yourself long enough so you can soften yourself. And as I started to soften myself, a layer moved away. And another layer moved away. And this is a years and years of process. And every now and then, because of neuroplasticity and the negativity bias that we have epigenetically and neurochemically, I can feel like I'm going to fall back into that space where I want to protect myself. But what's so beautiful because of meditation and prayer and self-care and the community that I've surrounded myself with, I recognize it. And, and rather than not wanting to see it or putting up a wall or insulating myself from my truth, I sit with myself. Self-compassion is my drug of choice today. Self-awareness is what allows me to see that I'm starting to head down a path that is not a good path for me and I can love myself out of it. I can love myself before I fall into it. So if you or someone you know and love has gone dark, be brave enough to ask for help. Be brave enough to sit with yourself long enough to allow vulnerability and self-compassion to find its way in, to soften you, move away the layers so you can see yourself long enough to become yourself again. The spiritual path isn't for everyone. Actually, it is for everyone. But whether or not we take it is only for the few and brave who are willing to stay with it.
thank you for letting me share a little bit about me and why I do what I do every single day alongside of you. You are not alone. I love you and I believe in you. Peace and blessings. Bye for now.